I think a lot of us were just coming out for the opportunity and to learn new things and we're actually kind of taken off guard that we won but it's uh, been excellent. We are really happy by the fact that uh, the idea of saving lives could uh, ma make us win again. This year's hackathon was hosted in Malmö, Sweden. Uh, it was uh, divided into two different tracks, intelligent buildings and intelligent healthcare establishments. The hackathon is built over 50 hours. We started off with introductions from all the sponsors and the teams. We did some beer tasting, mingle, partying, uh, and then we let the teams uh, free. So on Saturday it was a true hack day. On Sunday, we asked the team to present their ideas for 10 to 15 minutes. And the jury got to deliberate and choose two different winners. Uh, the first winner was re-empower and the second was called invisual. Re-empower really created a solution and an idea that had a very clear set of users and could present clear benefits. For InVision, what we saw in them was, again, a very clear use case uh, for these building solutions, uh, which had the potential not only to improve people's lives, but in fact save lives in uh, dangerous situations. The best thing about a hackathon like this is just being surrounded by like-minded people, smart people with different facets who complement each other and learning from other people. My friends and I can come together from four different corners of the world and just work on a crazy idea for a weekend. You know, I've never been here before, so I get to see a whole new part of the world, but as well as see a bunch of new technology. I'm working with technologies I've never seen before, um, and I'm learning a lot. It's about meeting new people, creating new friendships, and building a community where we can all interact and help each other out in the future.